God bless everyone you have tuned in to Wake Up People. This is a quick series about um, order out of chaos, peace before war. Let's go to Thess- Thessalonians, First uh, Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Now let's just break this down real quick. For when they shall say, Peace and safety. Now, what's going on in this world right now is it's a lot of confusion and delusion and illusions going on. Uh, you have the left going against the right, the right going against the left, the left going against each other, and the right going against each other. It's total division. Total division. Whites, blacks, male, female. We having sexist wars, feminism wars, and um, gender wars, identity wars. It's a lot of small battles going on in this world and this is very confusing time now the whole point of this segment is to show you how everything is going to come at one point peaceful then all of a sudden there here comes war And this is what's going on right now. And people are not understanding that we are being set up. And the devil knows exactly what he's doing. Now, some people might sit there and say, oh, this is just what's going on at the time being. Everything's going to be all right. Yes, for the people that's saved by the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. And yes, to the people that's up on knowledge and know what's going on in the world yeah some some people's gonna be all right some people not gonna make it but see here's the thing the media and I might have to blame the media for causing a lot of these chaos and everything that's been going on I blame media for the election not saying they got Trump to win but they played a part. They caused this delusion that Donald Trump is here to kill everybody. Everybody's now in the uproar. It's amazing how, I'm, I'm gonna get to it. It's amazing how you have Barack Obama in for eight years and nobody said a word about division and bigotry and none of that. None of that. But soon as Trump entered the White House, he is about to destroy the world. That's fear mongering. The media did a lot of fear mongering. I blame some of these celebrities. They have the platform to do the right thing. Most of them are paid to say what they say. Most of them believe exactly what they're talking about. A lot of them do not have any political knowledge at all. They just use their platform to run and shoot their mouth off about something that they don't even pay attention to or look up. See what's going on right now? Because everybody's saying, let's kill Trump. Trump is going to kill us. Let's kill him before he kill us. That's the mindset right now. That's the chaos right now. Okay? Now we're gonna we gonna we gonna get we gonna we're gonna keep on digging in. Because this is what's the problem. You have nobody. And I give props and give credit where credit is due. Shout out to Steve Harvey for at least talking to the man. You might not agree with Donald Trump or any president. Let's just put it in perspective real quick. We're not talking about preference. We're talking about perspective right now. You don't have to like any president that, that entered the office. You really don't. I don't like every president that entered the office. And that's facts. But you do have to respect the leaders. 
Because if any of you were the leaders, you'll be there. But see, that's not the case. So you have to respect and uh, you can't be uh, into seditions, trying to overthrow government. That's a lot of chaos. All this protesting that's going on, it's nothing but a lot of noise and chaos and damaging of uh, businesses and properties. It's another distraction, if you ask me. But that's another story. Got a lot of propaganda and false flags. All media-based and the media throws it out there. Now, the reason why it's fake news is because they don't tell the truth. We've been taught to listen to the media. Excuse me, I have a lot of noise in the background. I'm doing some spontaneous uh, recording right now. And I just got off a of, uh, vacation, seven-day vacation. And uh, I've been wanting to do this, this little commentary right here. But I haven't gotten a chance to. But I digress. Let's get back to the business. Um, so you have the media, you have celebrities, and then you have celebrities that don't want to say nothing. But wait till the next celebrity say something, and then they want to jump on a bandwagon. For instance, uh, Snoop Dogg. He put out a video about killing Donald Trump. Now, even though I, even though the video was you know wasn't violent, it was mocking white America. And um, the blue collar people and all that stuff. And at the end of the video, pulled a gun out on Donald Trump and it says bang. He don't actually kill him, but it says bang. But the wrong message is what's being taught. You had people defending this video as if it was right. Bow wow, T.I. And the reason why I speak, I, I pick on T.I. and Snoop Dogg and People are always shooting off with them up because these are the same people that taught their people how to sell drugs, how to kill each other, how to gangbang, how to disrespect women, how to disrespect the law. And they're doing the same thing, just shooting off with the mouth in politics. And they have no credibility whatsoever. Has their 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 record and their rap sheet is ridiculous. Snoop don't know if he's Jamaican. He don't know if he's a gangster. He don't know if he want to uh, be spiritual or, you know, I mean, he's all over the place. T.I. got caught with guns and, you know, he's still a, a street dude. You know what I'm saying? But some of these dudes do not have any credibility. And us people that don't have a brain to think for ourselves sit there and listen to him. And we believe in the nonsense. So here's the deal. The chaos is being built up so big to the point where eventually there will be some type of war. I don't know if it's going to be a cyber war. I don't know if it's going to be a, a, a physical war, a biometric war, you know, a chemical war. But there is something there is something that's boiling, bubbling up. And we're going to miss the mark. The whole plan is to get us uh, scared and divided. Once we scared, once we divided, then somebody's going to call for peace. And when they call for peace, that's when it's too late. Because the plan has already been formatted. See, this has been years in the making. This type of stuff and type of things don't happen overnight. You know, when you want to cause friction in, in, in the population or a certain country or whatever the case may be, it takes years to do it because you have to program the people's minds. See, media and, you know, some of these people out here, fear mongering, race baiting. It's all a part of the order out of chaos. To get the people scared, to get the people protesting, to basically get us acting a fool. And that's what they're doing as we speak right now. What can we do about it? Like I told you at the beginning, if you're not up on your knowledge, 
you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you don't have God on your side, you're not looking for the signs. You're not being vigilant. You're going to be lost. How we fight it? We pray about it. We tell other people about it. Because this is prophecy we're living in right now, people. This is prophecy. Let me get deeper back into this uh, the scripture right here. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. Once again, for when they shall say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction cometh upon them. So once it's all peaceful, boom! That's when the chaos and the destruction of the people. This is when the mark of the beast come in. Whatever mark that is. But I know one thing is not going to be the mark of God. And anything that comes from this world ain't from God. Especially if it's evil. God don't want us to be chained together. God wants us to be free. So, whatever mark that is, which it says in Revelations, everybody will receive a mark, will receive his mark. They won't be able to buy, sell anything if they don't have it. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as a travail, travailed, uh, as travailed upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So, what they're saying is basically, they can cry out to the Lord all they want. They can hide in their mountains and under in, in underground cities. We get to that later. But they would not escape because God's prophecy is God's prophecy. And he prophesies that he will come again. He will show the people who he is. And they will say he is the king of kings and lords of lords. Facts. King James Bible. Alright. So the order of chaos is going to have to come through the government. It's have to come through the media. It's going to have to come through all high elite personnel. Bought and paid for. Either by blood, by money, by murder, whatever it is. Sacrifice. Whatever. It's real. So, at the end of the day, We need to be vigilant. We need to pay attention to what's going on around us because it's not going to be pretty. And we need to stop focusing on, I'm talking to the Donald Trump assassinators and the haters. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not endorsing Donald Trump. I just don't think the man is as bad as everybody say he is. I don't think that Donald Trump causes or caused a lot of problems. A lot of things that happened, happened when Obama was in office, but nobody want to talk about that. And the order out of chaos happened to, if you ask me, during his term. During his term. Because he did a lot of dictatorship and he did a lot of flip-flopping. So the order of chaos, if you ask me, came from Obama's term. And of course, you can go back farther than that. But the real start of it, when we start to really see it and realize it, is when Obama was in office. Had a wonderful four years. The first, then. By the fourth, end of the fourth year, he, so he, he, he's showing you his true colors. So the order of chaos has to come in and it has to happen in order, in order for Jesus to even start coming back before you start seeing the signs. And that's really the first signs. We're living in that time right now, people. Have a good day. Have a good night. Thank you all for listening. I uh, look at uh, my videos and um, on my YouTube page. Uh, 
Go to my website. Check out all the news. Like I said, I've been away for a little bit. Now I'm back. Seven days off. Took a took a uh, vacation from the world and the spiritual world and everything. And just took time for myself. Much needed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I talk. I have. I will talk to y'all later. I'm getting tongue tied. But I will talk to y'all later. Please subscribe and support. Wake up, people. God bless you.